Okay, in the last video, we introduced the concept of a cascode current source, and we noted that it was really good at producing a high output resistance, but we lost a bit of voltage headroom by using the cascode stack. And in fact, with the traditional cascode stack, we lose more than a little bit of headroom. We have to support an extra BTH at, at, um, for our minimum uh, output voltage. So let's look at a KVL loop going through the two reference transistors over to this red dot here. Now we know that each of these transistors needs a VOV plus a VTH, which is equal to their VGS voltage. And we know what we'd like to have at this point is just a VOV. We know that this transistor also has a VOV plus a VTH requirement. So if we could somehow put a voltage source in series here that was equal to one VTH, then if we summed all these voltages together, we would get back to this ideal requirement of having only one VOV across the bottom transistor and the output current stack. We have a solution to this, and that is to add another path. So let's assume that all the transistors in this circuit are now equal except for M4. Well, we know that they're all going to then have equal BOV plus VTHs. And our goal is for M1 to only need one VOV across its drain to source terminal. Well, if this is the case, then that tells us that we need to make the VOV plus VTH for M4 a little bit bigger. In fact, we need two VOV plus a VTH for M4. And now, if we do a KVL around this loop to this drain node of M1, we would find that we would meet our requirement and M1 would only need one VOV across it. In order to make this happen, we know that VOV4, which is equal to square root of 2 ID divided by mu N C ox times W over L4, would need to equal twice the VOV for the other devices. Well, we can make this happen by solving these equations, and we can show ultimately that all we need to do is make W over L4 equal to one fourth the size of all the other W over Ls in the circuit. So now we have a solution to reduce the voltage requirement, the minimum voltage requirement for this particular cascode current source. So the question is, what does this cost us? Well, we have to add an extra branch in this particular circuit, so it's going to cost us more current. It adds a bit of complexity to the design as well, so we have a bit more complexity. But we indeed now have a high swing cascode. So we're going to stop there for today, and we will start looking at different amplifiers in our next sets of lectures.